Good morning and welcome to the uh, workshop for the 1st of July from Trend Signal. Uh, here we are to, to discuss the uh, data and events this week in what is a particularly busy week with uh, unemployment uh, data in the States, non-farm payroll that is, and interest rate deci decisions in both uh, the UK and the Eurozone, and also a lot of manufacturing data out as well. So uh, let's get into it. Um, the first thing we have actually is the Chinese manufacturing PMI uh, came in as expected at 50.1, but uh, it does uh, uh, underline this scale of the slowdown in China. Um, Anything above 50 is an expansion, uh, anything below 50 is contraction, but this number really does underline the fact that the Chinese manufacturers have uh, pretty much ground to a halt in terms of growth anyway, uh, as the Chinese economy attempts to move from uh, a manufacturing um, export-led economy to one uh, where there's more consumption. And nevertheless, um, it, has been a, it is a problem, and the headlines were not particularly bullish this morning, offset partly by the Tankan manufacturing uh, index and surveys, which came out slightly more positive than expected. Uh, this morning, we've had a lot of manufacturing PMIs out in, in the Eurozone, Spanish and Italian ones coming in uh, a lot stronger than expected, at uh, 50 on the Spanish one and 49.1 on the uh, Italian one. Um, so quite positive there. Uh, the manufacturing PMI uh, in the UK uh, at the time of this uh, Recording is due out fairly soon. Uh, we then have uh, the ISM manufacturing data in the States as well. So a lot of manufacturing data coming out this week. Tuesday, we have the uh, Reserve Bank of Australia's uh, interest rate announcement at 5.30 tomorrow morning. Uh, for those of you who trade any of the Aussie dollar, Aussie yen, uh, Aussie New Zealand crosses, uh, do set that as uh, on your uh, alarm because... Uh, That'll be uh, quite important for the mark for those particular markets. We're not expecting any move, though. I think uh, uh, the Reserve Bank of Australia did the cut in May it was really down to the strength of the Aussie dollar, but that has really changed significantly following the crash in the Aussie dollar over the last month. Um, our next important uh, date, a bit of data, really, is is Wednesday when we have the first lead up to the uh, non-farm payroll coming from ADP. This data seems to be get more uh, volatile as the months go by in comparison to the Bureau of Labour Statistics announcement on Friday. Um, nevertheless, it does have the ability to move the markets, um, but it seems to be its correlation seems to be drifting a little bit compared to the official statistics. 161,000 is what we're expecting, up from 135 last time. Um, so that will be watched quite closely. Uh, we then have the ISM services sector, or, or in the States they call that the non-manufacturing PMI, 54.3, uh, incredibly strong in comparison, a bit like the manufacturing sector in the, the US as well, compared to the rest of Europe, at least. Um, we then have uh, Thursday, the first announcement uh, or um, uh, interest rate uh, monthly meeting held by Mr. Mark Carney. In fact, Mr. Mark Carney became Governor of the Bank of England today. In fact, there's other announcements. Croatia's joined the EU today as well, so uh, a number of exciting events happening today. Um, but we're not expecting anything from uh, the MPC or Mr. Mr. Carney. Um, it's highly unlikely they'll make any announcements in July. In fact, the word is that they're going to uh, the MPC is more likely to make an announcement about their new targets and the unconventional monetary policy approaches that uh, Mr. Carney has mentioned in the lead up to his new job. Uh, we then have a statement uh, following the announcement at um, uh, 12 o'clock, but really, as I said, we're not expecting anything on any interest rates. Same thing in the U Eurozone, the ECB's uh, announcement at 12.45, expected to keep interest rates unchanged. As always, though, the press conference, uh, 45 minutes later at 1.30, does have the ability to unnerve the markets or unsettle the markets. So, trading Euro stocks, DAX, CAC, MIB, BUNS, any Euro crosses on the Forex market, do be careful, it has the ability to move those markets. And then for the main event of the week, yes, it's non-farm payroll, the first Friday of the new month, always has our the non-farm data. Uh, we're expecting a number of 162,000. It is still not strong enough, really, uh, to signify a, a, a rapidly improving economy. Uh, they need to, the un unemployment change, it needs to be producing a good 300,000 uh, jobs 
a month really and we're well well short of that uh, unemployment rate uh, slated to come in around 7.5 percent well above the target that the fed has set themselves a 6.5 percent that is it that's what's going on that's what uh, events to look for this week um good luck with the rest of your training we will reconvene again on thursday morning at eight o'clock thanks very much bye for now if you would like more information about trading the right way, TrendSignal is giving you the opportunity to see and hear about its services live at a free online seminar. Take a look at the TrendSignal website for the latest events and to book your free place.